Hello everyone, welcome to the world famous and infamous Wall of Shame, where the journalist's reputations go to die, where journalists have to print corrections and retractions and articles questioning my journalism ethics. Today's retraction goes to Salon.com and Raw Story. The before was a conservative activist organization that has been known to use deceptive practices and spread misinformation, and they retracted that, and now it reads... Veritas, an organization that has a reputation for using deceptive practices. Cue the Retracto theme song. Retracto, the correction alpaca. Retracto. He's coming at you. For those of you who follow the Retracto series, this goes back to Retracto number 340, a Politico article which read, Representative Matt Gates announces ad buy to fight back against CNN allegations. This is an article about Matt Gates, which was retracted. And in this article by Benjamin Din, a breaking news intern, didn't he get fired? Didn't he lose his job? He quit. We don't know exactly what happened to Ben, to ben Din. I'm going to call him Ben Din. We don't know what happened to Benden, but, but in this original article, it read originally, this is Politico's article, which was picked up now by Salon, quote, the ad incorporates footage obtained by Project Veritas, a conservative activist organization that has been known to use deceptive practices and spread misinformation in attempts to expose what it views as corruption. It's not, what a word salad, right? It's not that we do this, it's that we're thought to do this, we're alleged to do this, we attempt to do this, and we view it. What a moral relativistic thing to say. But this is what they said as, quote, corruption, dishonesty, self-dealing, waste, fraud, and misconduct, unquote. Right? Because those things don't exist. It's a figment of my imagination. It's an apparition invented by me. Excuse me, is this Sarcasm 101? No, it's Lamaze class from Men Named Arthur. Our indefatigable legal team sent them an email going back to May of 2021. This is to one Aaron Hinckley, Hi, Aaron. I hope this finds you well. Matthew Chapman's above article includes this Project Veritas, a conservative activist organization known to use deceptive practices. In response to our request, political to retract, the political article has been changed. It now reads, Project Veritas, an organization that has a reputation for using deceptive practices. And editor's note, this was from Retracto 340, the description of Veritas has been revised including to reflect that the organization is not exclusively targeted liberal organizations. So they acknowledged in political that we don't target, quote, liberal organizations. We ask that you retract and correct yours to be in line with Politico's. So Salon retracted their article, and now it reads, the ad incorporates footage obtained by Project Veritas, an organization that has a reputation for using deceptive practices in attempts to expose what it views as corruption. Correction! We love, we love the corrections. We love that it says correction in perpetuity on their website. And we're, we've actually put it in this beautiful frame. Correction, the story has been updated to include a correction issued by Politico following publication of their story. The correction changes their initial description of Project Veritas and is now reflected in the story. Indeed, we have not just only investigated quote unquote liberal organizations, although we don't know what that means exactly in this day and age, is CNN liberal, is the FBI liberal, is the New York Times liberal, is the administrative state liberal, is Pfizer pharmaceutical liberal, right? I don't know what that means anymore. Um, the ACLU is defending us. We investigated a, Congress, a congressional candidate in Arizona, Alex Stovall. We just investigated John Curtis, a Republican in Utah. Veritas is investigating everyone. Now, Salon and Raw's story did not actually cover, that did play what the video showed. This is their description of it, quote, in the footage, a man identified as a CNN employee. They wouldn't even do the courtesy of naming Charlie Chester. A man identified as. I mean, these people are on video. You can see their lips moving. It's incontrovertible. I even confronted him in a restaurant in New Jersey. This is incontrovertible documentary evidence. You can't deny it, but they write, a man identified as, an organization that portrays itself as, alleged. Notice how they won't confirm it. So let's replay what it is that Charlie Chester at CNN said about CNN and Matt Gates. Can you define the agenda? If the agenda, say, is to like get 
like Matt Gates right now is a like this Republican. Like, uh, he's a problem for the Democratic Party because he's so conservative, right? And he could cause a lot of hiccups in passing the laws. And, uh, so it's it would be great for the Democratic Party to get him out. So we're going to keep running those stories to keep hurting him and make it so that it can't be parried. And- so now Politico has printed a retraction, Solana has printed a retraction, and Raw Story has printed a retraction. And this is the circular sourcing we've spoken about, the Penrose stairs. They say something, it's cited by somebody else, and cited ad infinitum in a circular sourced collection of lies that end up on Wikipedia. And you have to be indefatigable, persistent, and non-stop in getting these retractions. And these two organizations have published two more corrections than I've published in the last 10 years. All of this can have been avoided. Uh, Matthew Chapman, Salon, if you just stuck to the facts, if you did your job, if you corroborated, if you verified you know, the things rather than say alleged. But of course, as we know from the New York Times appellate briefs, words have no meaning. And verifiable, the word verifiable, has no meaning. That's the world that we're entering into. The Project Veritas is the only thing that can probably save us from the abyss. <laughs> So we are going to give you one of these. I'm going to sign the bandana for you, Matt Chapman. And we are going to mail it to you wherever you are. This is your alpaca. You're getting it in the mail. Stay tuned.